Hey everybody, real quick video, maybe not so quick. I have modified my Final Faction Aero ATV. Here's what I did. You can see the wheels are different. Okay, let me grab the stock one. Do a small side-by-side. -side. Okay, you can see the wheels are different. They're the same diameter, they're just different width. And, okay, I've taken the, the guns off the top. I got Chief in the one. <laughs> he fits. Yes, Halo fits. Final faction. They fit in perfectly. Okay. And I have motorized this one. That's what this big box on the back is. And, okay. Here are my changes. I added battery box being held on with a magnet onto that little thing. Sorry for the lighting. Okay, and here is the motor and transmission, and these are wheels from Dollar Tree, little metal kits. I just stacked them on top of the metal shaft that went through because I didn't want to see the metal. And that, this is a prototype. The armor fits on. What I did underneath was I glued this on, though now that I know it's a good fit and it works, I may make a bracket to hold it that I glue onto the bottom. And up here, I went ahead and changed the front wheels. And what I did was I took, okay, I took a, one of these metal bars from another kit and a piece of packing material, screwed them both down. That's glued on and go, and it doesn't, it's not perfectly straight, but I don't care. <laughs> Prototype, right? This is my own shaft from arts and crafts kit okay and it drives goes in a straight line ruck is in there red ruck see one of my customs <laughs> and okay what i did and this is from another you can't see that it's, let me see here my lighting is horrible there you can see the messy glue and yeah hopefully that's focusing it's glued on with E6000. It's not centered because the shaft isn't centered, right? The wheels are pretty much in line. And now you can see the magnet glued to the bottom of the battery case. And that's just another bit of metal from another Dollar Tree kit glued to the back uh, platform and a single double A, okay, single double A box. It turns on, it goes forward. That's the goal. That's what I did. I cannot have a figure on the back on this one, though I'm thinking about replacing the seat with my own printed thing. But I don't know. I'm trying to do kit bashing, stay away from printing because not everyone has access to a printer. And if they do, to be quite honest, they don't know how to use them. Uh, moving on, <laughs> it's a whole different video. So yeah, this is what it is. I motorized the ATV. The bumper still is fiddly. It wants to come off of that. It's, this one's been on and off so much. I might've stretched the plastic little grippers, but like, like I said, this is a, uh, prototype and it does sit a little bit higher, but that's all right. The wire, you can see the wire going there and then right there uh, this particular kit let me show you what I used okay I used this from five below just that and that and a couple of bits of metal right and parts from the Dollar Tree kits let me get one of those some of these these are great these are great the little wheels there is what made the axle cover on the bottom right there see that those are the wheels worked perfect um the reason the real reason i did the front wheels is because i was tired and when i was working on it i broke the original shafts and i was like oh man what am i gonna do okay figure it out old school fix and this is what i came up with after several tries because 
I'm limiting myself to no printing on this. I could print the whole steering mech up here. It's ready to go on Thingiverse, but I just decided not to. What can everyone do if they wanted to? They can go to Five Below and Dollar Tree. Hopefully you can find the arrow and the armor kit. They're going for crazy stupid money on uh, eBay and Mercari to be a dollar a piece two dollar kit and a dollar 25 even they were they raised their prices a little but it's still really good and people are saying people are telling me in the group that amazon sells all this stuff and i'm like yeah they do but it's not five bucks it's not a dollar you gotta buy these big kits i bought the big kits i've got the, a couple of the big kits this is not okay and uh five below wins you know <laughs> You can't get everything you need for five bucks on Amazon. This is it right here. Okay, that's it for this one. Uh, I'm very happy with the prototyping so far. I wanted to show this. And yeah, um, the seat and the motor on mine might get... Uh, put together because I don't want to have this is not practical it it's yeah it's on there with a magnet but it doesn't stay very well because if it hits a wall it just goes like that luckily that time it didn't <laughs> and this kind of setup right here is kind of rugged all the parts that I used are tough they're very tough parts the metal and the plastic very tough to be a little toy car you know I mean, you're not going to go rock climbing with this thing, okay, in the RC world. You're, this is scoot across the floor. One volt, 1 1.5 volts, you know. 1.5 volts. Grand total money spent was 1, 2, 7, 8, conservatively 9, say $2 tree kits. The little little boxes so nine bucks and you put it together yourself but you have to figure out how to make everything work figure out how to make it work thanks out of here bye bye